All right, guys, so you can see I'm not here. I'll be back, though, um, before class is over. So I'm starting with this. Uh, first things first, if you did not finish yesterday's um, code.org lesson, I think it's lesson six. Let me make sure I got it. Yep, lesson six, styling text with CSS. Uh, you need to make sure you get that done first. So make sure you're through with um, styling uh, text with CSS first in lesson six on code.org. Okay, today we're starting a mini project. You have today, tomorrow, and Thursday to finish this. Today is focused on our activity guide, okay? So here's what you're doing. You're designing a website, right? In this project, you will define a goal for your personal web page and then prepare to develop your page by designing it on paper and then try out your new CSS skills by developing the page and then reflect on your process. So you're gonna be able to design a page that reaches a goal, and I'll talk about that goal in a second. Use both HTML and CSS to style a site and write readable code. Code. So today, I want you to think about what's your goal here, okay? What aspects of your personal style would you like to share with the world? I have a lot of people do about fashion. I have a lot of people do about video games, sports, music, anything that's personal to you that you're comfortable sharing with the world. Now, we don't want any names out there like your personal identifying factors. Remember that digital footprint we talked about? But you can talk about your love for, uh, like for me, I might do my love of NC State, right? And talk about that, okay? Then you're gonna prepare your website, okay? This is one page, a one page website. How can your web page de design, communicate your personal style? How are you gonna get the words across? Are you gonna use images, text, um, bullet points, headers, CSS, colors? Think about all that. What content is important to include? And how should the content be styled? Okay, so really think this through. Make sure you're putting your information there, okay? Then you're gonna give me a rough sketch of what your website looks below. Nothing, you know, I want this thing filled. This is a page, okay? Slow yourself down and sketch this out so you have a plan. And then you'll tell me what CSS properties you're gonna need for your page. So you might have to go into code.org on lesson six and look up what properties you'll need. If you finish all that today, you can go into code.org, open up lesson seven and start working on your mini project, your personal style, uh, and like I said, you have Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday to do it.